positively change people's understandings of things. So what do you think? I mean, as somebody who writes and who changes and I think what happens is that you change them slowly. It's not that a book changes them. I think what happens is it, it, it's sort of like an avalanche in the sense that it builds up and it builds up, but then when it goes, it goes. And what I see right now is that there was some kind of tipping point in the last six months. A combination of things, certainly Katrina was part of it, um, rising chaos in Iraq, um, growing kind of economic crisis here, country, people's fears about credit, inflation, right? All these things, all the kind of building up. Avalanche is still there, it hasn't moved, but it's getting ready to pitch. At this point, what the book does is, is the book comes along and says, look, here's the nuts and bolts. Here's underlining each of the reasons for it. It gives people that sense that what they were feeling here was actually here, and it puts it here. I think once people make that jump, as they did in Vietnam, once they make that jump, the avalanche goes. One of the things that I think is most valuable about what Antonia said here tonight is, and is it, that is in the book, is that it doesn't just give an analysis. I mean, there are a lot of analyses out there, and I agree with Ringo that there is a lot to be said for having a lot more facts and a lot more specificity, which this book provides. But I think even more valuable is a sense that there is something that people can do. I think because it's it's all too easy to think, oh yeah, it happens because, and what can I do? There are all these multinational corporations, and they're all in league with one another. And there's not, the, the, I do think that it was very powerful, both in her delivery, which is just remarkably upbeat, as well as, you know, informed and organized and convincing. It says sense that there are specific things that people can do. And I think people tend to press for change when they think that change is possible. You know, it's very different. And, it, and then th th that's the thing that I think um, often gets lost. And there was a time when the movement felt, well, things had to get worse before they could get better because people would have to realize how bad it is. But that's not when people mobilize for change, not when things are going downhill and they get far more and more um, terrible. It's when they feel like there is something that I can do that will make a difference and that change is possible. And I think, you know, I haven't read the book yet, but there's something about listening to her speak that really does give you that. So there you are.